Hello engineers. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the key constraint tools. In a previous tutorial, we learned how to use the dimension and automatic dimension tools just here. And now we will take a look at the constraint tools just next to them. We can select these from the panel just up here, or we can go anywhere in the graphics window, hold down the control key, and then right click. And we have an option to select any of the constraint tools just here. So first, let's take a look at the coincident constraint. That's this one here, so we'll select that. And to demonstrate this, I will select the end point of this line, and then I will select the corner of our rectangle. And as you can see, these two points have now been constrained coincidentally. So the end point of this line is now fixed to the corner of our rectangle. We can try and move this line around. So we can change its length like so. We can try and change its angle. However, we cannot detach the end point of the line to the corner of the rectangle due to the constraint. Let's demonstrate that one more time using the other end point of the line and then the end point of this line. And as we can see, this line is now fixed as it is constrained to both the corner point and the end point of this line here. We'll do one more sample of that. So we'll select the coincident constraint and here we'll select the center point of our five mil diameter circle, and then we'll select the corner point of our rectangle just here. And as we can see, the center point of our circle is now fixed to the corner of our rectangle. This is a very commonly used tool and it's fundamental to two dimensional sketching. Next, we have the collinear constraint, which is positioned just here. So let's demonstrate this by selecting this vertical line this vertical line just here. As you can see, these two lines are now constrained collinearly. So if we move the top line here, you notice that our bottom line here will move due to the constraint. Let's try that again using this horizontal line and our top line here. You can see these two lines are now collinear and we can see the collinear symbol just appear here. Next, we have the concentric constraint. So for this, I have drawn a number of circles in the graphics window. I will use the constraint to make these two circles concentric, and then we'll do the same with this circle and the same with our 10 millimeter diameter circle. And now if we try to move any one of these circles, we can see that all of the circles will move together as they are constrained concentrically. And that concludes part one of the constraint tools. In part two, we will cover the parallel, perpendicular, horizontal, and vertical constraints. So I will see you there.